Good morning children today we will have a new lesson and the title of the lesson is a house is not a home written by Zan Gaudio sir is female writer right and uh, this lesson is taken from your supplementary text moment chapter number 8 so first of all uh, we will have some idea about the writer okay i will show you the picture with the help of the internet okay yeah here is the detail about uh, the writer zan gaudioso female writer is an author based on california she has contributed stories to and edited the famous chicken soup for the soul book series these books consist of short stories that uh, seek to comfort and inspire readers okay so some of the books written by her the buddha next door ordinary people extraordinary stories so at least you can see her image here okay children now we will go in detail with the text a house is not a home okay the story reflects the challenges of being a teenager and the problems of growing up how does the author overcome his problems okay uh, here the story is all about a school going child a teenager you know what a teenager who a teenager is starting from 13 to 19 years old for example you are all teenagers now those who are studying in class 9th is okay uh, the the title is A house is not a home so dear children can you find any difference between these two words what is a house what is a home i think you have studied the difference in class 6 there was a poem on this house the home right something like that i remember so house stands for a, a building made of bricks stones cements etc but a home has got a broader meaning for example it is made up of love family members relations okay it is also made of uh, what you call bricks stones and etc but it has got a different meaning home home is uh, a built something that is built up of love and affection okay for example when you go uh, from your home to some other place suppose from you are from karnataka suppose you go to andhra pradesh or somewhere else people will ask where is your home they will not ask the where is your house then you will say my home is in karnataka suppose you go to england somebody will ask where is your home then you will say my home is in uh, my my home is india okay it has got a broader sense whereas house for example your house you have four houses in navodaya for example aravalli house nilgiri house shivali house we don't call it as nilgiri home nil uh, aravalli home why it is made up of uh, uh, some bricks mortar cement etc there is no much love and affection attached to a uh, dormitory okay whereas your real home where you are born and brought up that is more important so a house cannot be a home okay that is what the author wanted to highlight is it clear now we will come to the text Uh, my first year of high school felt awkward awkward means not good not favorable or we can say bad i felt very bad who felt very bad the boy in the story the narrator of the story felt very bad after leaving junior's high school high means high school at the head of my class with all seniority the upper grade levels could afford me it felt strange starting over as a freshman The school was twice as big as my old school and to make matters worse my closest friends were sent to a different high school i felt very isolated so here the problem of the boy is shifting of his school okay after the junior high means junior high okay lower primary then upper primary then high school so the boy has completed his upper primary now he is going to the senior classes means high school so after shifting to a high school he felt very bad why in that particular school he became a freshman 
he lost his old teachers he lost his old friends so he himself felt very isolated what is isolated here means alone okay is it clear for all clear yes i missed my old teachers so much that i would go back and visit them so after coming to the new new school the boy felt very bad why he missed all his old teachers and sometimes he felt like going back to his old school and visiting them they would encourage me to get involved in school's activity so that i could meet new people but what did the old teacher advise him to get himself involved engaged in school activities so that he would forget the old people and would meet the new people they told me that in time i would adjust and probably end up loving my new school more than i had my old one so the teacher advised him to love the new school so that he would rather forget the old one they made me promise that when that happened i would still come by and visit them from time to time and also the teacher uh, advised him to visit them okay as and when the boy wanted i understood the psychology in what they were saying but i took some comfort in it nonetheless but this boy is not feeling well with the new school that's what the background okay i hope all of you have this uh, kind of experience for example all navodaya students they have come from different schools and joined navodaya am i right so many of you may have experienced the same condition that the author here feels the small boy who feels right you may have lost your old teachers you may have lost your friends you may have lost your uh, uh, relationship with some people there but in a new surroundings you might have felt some difficulty but now that you are well adjusted okay now you have reached class 9th so you can also connect your past so one sunday afternoon not long after i had started high school i was sitting at home at our dining room table means dining table doing homework okay so what was the boy doing after coming back from school or on sunday after afternoon he was sitting near a dining table and doing his homework it was a cold and windy fall day so what was the climatic condition of that day it was cold and windy you know wind and we had a fire going in our fireplace so generally uh, wherever people are living in cold region they will have a fireplace as usual my red tabby cat so the boy has got a tabby cat tabby you can you can write down a cat with dark bands on its fur especially a female cat so all of you write down what is the meaning of tabby a cat with dark bands b a n d s bands on its fur especially a female cat so the boy has got a female cat at home which was lying on top of all my papers okay it is very the cat is very close with the author so it is lying uh, on his papers purring loudly purring means making noise another difficult word is purring means making noise loudly and occasionally not always occasionally means not always sweating at sweating means hit with a flat object in order to kill hit with a flat object in order to kill for example when a mosquito comes and sit on your hand so what will you do will you leave the mosquito to sit there and bite you no what you will do you will try to sweat it sweat it means hit in order to kill is it clear so sweating at my pen actually the cat is trying to kill the pen thinking that pen is a living thing means it is playing with the pen that's the meaning that's the meaning for alternate for entertainment sake okay entertainment is fun entertainment means fun for fun sake the cat is killing the pen that means uh, sweating with the pen right clear so that is what was going she was Uh, she means that female cat okay she was never far from me i had rescued her when she was a kitten actually there is a history behind how the cat came to author's house how the author brought it 
by rescuing her. What is rescuing? Saving her from an accident. And somehow she knew that I was the one responsible for giving her the good life. So what way the author is connected with the cat? Because there was good love and affection between them because other saved it from a danger or something like that. Right? My mother kept stalking the fire to keep the house uh, nice and warm. So what was the mother doing? She was stalking the fire. What is stalking the fire? Meaning is given at the end of the text. You can turn back your page. All of you should have your text with you and turn back and you can find stalking the fire means feeding the and tending the fire. So you may have seen fireplace. So we have to feed uh, the fire inside. Okay. Stalking the fire. Suddenly I smell something strange. Author felt something strange. And then I noticed it. Smoke pouring in through the seams of the ceiling. Seams means lines. On the lines of this, through the lines of the ceiling, he could see smoke coming out, pouring out, means coming out. The smoke began to fill the room so quickly that we could barely see. Suddenly the smoke engulfed, covered the entire room so quickly that author and his uh, mother could not see. Barely see means hardly. Barely means hardly. Barely. Scarcely. Okay. Negative meaning. They could not see. Groping. Groping means searching with the hands. Write down. Groping means searching with the hands. Groping in darkness, for example. Dark. Okay, when the light goes, what will you do? You will grope in the darkness. Searching with the hands. Is it clear? So, next page. Our way to the front door. Because they were searching for the front door entry. Because totally it has become smoky. They couldn't see things. So, they were searching for the front door. We all ran out into the front yard and they came out from the house. By the time we made our way outside, the whole roof was engulfed. Engulfed means covered. The, raw, the entire roof was engulfed in flames. Flame means, you know, flame. Fire. And it was spreading quickly. And it is spreading. You know how uh, when the fire catches, you know, how quick it catches. I ran to the neighbors to call me, call the fire department while I watched my mother run back into the house. And when they came out, uh, neighbors came there. Okay, he went to the neighbors to call the fire de department. So there will be a question. Why did the boy run to the neighbors to call the fire department? While I watched my mother run back into the house. And what was his mother doing? Again going back to the burning house. My mother then ran out of the house carrying a small metal box full of important documents. So what did she collect from the home? A small metal box full of important documents. So children, you can. this is one of the short answer question. Why did the mother go to the burning house? To bring back a small metal box with the important documents. Okay. She dropped the case on the lawn. She kept it on the lawn. Lawn, you know, grassy land, you know, grassy land, lawn. And in a crazed state, means very like a mad state. Crazed state, ran back into the house once again. I knew that she was after my mother, father had died when I was young. And I was certain that she was not going to let his picture and letters go up in flames. The boy knows why. His uh, mother went back to the burning house. Why? To collect his father's photo. His, he lost his father some years back. And there was a photo of his father. So she did not want her husband's photo burned up in the fire. And some of the letters written by him. They were the only things that she had to remember about him. Okay. Still I scree screamed at her. Mom, no. Mom, no. He screamed. Screamed means shouted. Why? It is very dangerous to enter a house which is burning. But who was not listening to that? Mother was not listening to that. I was about to run after her when I felt a large hand hold me back. So seeing uh, his mother going into the burning house, who also felt like going behind her? Author. 
then who but other was stopped by somebody who was that person it was a fireman a fireman stopped him by then the fire department came i i had in even noticed that the street had already filled with the fire trucks by then fire trucks lorries came i was trying to free myself from his grasp grasp means grip who was holding the boy the fireman and what was the boy doing yelling yelling means crying in loud voice leave me for example you don't understand my mother is in the is in there and he expressed that his mother was inside the house he held on to me while other firefighters ran into the house he knew that i was in acting very logically and that if he were to let go i would run he was right okay so who entered to save the mother other firefighters it's all right actually why did the fireman did not allow the boy to run behind because he would be in danger it's all right they will get her he said okay don't worry dear child who said the fireman said why because the other firefighters would bring her back okay so dear children we'll stop here for the day and we'll continue with the text tomorrow so before we conclude for the day let us make an immediate review of what we have discussed so the chapter is uh, about uh, a teenager okay and the title is a house is not a home so you know the difference what is a house what is a home that you know now and uh, the boy actually was shifted from a junior high school to a high school so the high school is uh, not favorable for him because uh, he is a fresh man a new child there and he lost his old teachers and friends so he was just adjusting but on one sunday afternoon he was doing his homework sitting on the dining table by then uh, the climate was uh, chilly i mean cold and windy okay and uh, you can see uh, the author is uh, sitting near to his cat a cat is there a tabby cat a pet cat of the author and what was the cat doing cat was lying on the papers and was uh, sweating or the pen okay for entertainment sake but suddenly uh, author could see the smoke coming through the ceiling and within no time it spread like anything and uh, suddenly they became blind blind in the sense they could not see and uh, they were searching for the front door and immediately the boy ran to the neighbors to call the fire department and that time he could see his mother going back to the fire burning house to bring some important thing what was the thing a small metal box full of important documents okay and again the mother for the second time visited what was the purpose then the author knew that she wanted to collect her husband's photo that means author's father's photo because he lost his father some years back and not only father's photo and some of the letters written by him and by the way the boy also wanted to run behind the mother but he was stopped by one of the firemen why did the firemen did not allow the boy to go because the fireman knew that it would be dangerous for a teenager to manage with the fire so who would be rescuing her mother other firefighters would be rescuing her his mother okay so dear children write down the important words today we learned a few important words write down in your notebook and read the text thoroughly make a thorough reading silent reading as well as loud reading that is very important and also write down some of the important questions which are already shared to you okay have a nice day ahead